Welcome to Primo Recenter inside a brand new Coachman Freedom Express Select 22 SE. Just a wonderful family coach here. Really brings in a ton of storage and those who are a bit taller are going to appreciate in this ultralight that you have really tall ceilings and in a short coach you even have ducted air so there's no air conditioning unit that you're potentially going to knock your head into here so you've got a lot to work with coming in at a great weight just over 4500 pounds uh your your body itself about 22 feet and then tip to tail 24 feet 10 inches so it's going to fit on a lot of campsites uh, sub 25 feet tip to tail and a lot of driveways as well so up front here we've got a great murphy bed design because you've got full pass-through storage on the outside which often many murphy d designs just negate so you, you lose that outside storage here you not only get the outside storage but you also get great inside storage so you'll notice the two doors here so you've got easy access to to uh, offer storage underneath the couch when it's set up as a couch uh, in this form here, you've got even a couple of fold-down drink holders. You've got USB connections, so you can use it as a bit of a charging station there if you're sitting watching a movie, things like that. We've got uh, USB and 120 volt on both sides of the bed here, or couch when it's set up. And then just wonderful storage. So you've got really deep storage here going back two and a half, three feet, depending on which section you're in here. And then you've got two drawers on either side. So everywhere they can, they're offering you great storage. You're getting residential hinges that are easy, easily closed. You've got all metal drawer guides, really well put together. And then easy peasy, you've got literally two sliders to drop and drop the couch and you're into bed mode. So it is very, very simple to set up. Uh, great when you're in road mode, kind of keep that couch back. You've got full access around the dinette. And then it's an easy walk if you're just on the road to the bathroom, should that be something that you need. When you come in the door, you're going to notice here you've got, again, great window coverage on the side of this camper. And even extends into the bunk area where you've got two there as well. You've got that storage continuing over top of the dinette. You've got blackout snap shades here. So again, when you do want to be in the sleep mode, uh, you can literally keep all the light out, which is great. You've got easy large toggle switches here for your inside and outside lights so it's very easy to find those and you've got your awning switch just down by the door level so nice and easy for little ones to give you a hand what i love as well is this particular table in your dinette can end up being your outside dining table so this could come out and that really turns this dinette into more of a couch especially when you are uh, watching say a movie with a family you can put your feet up on the other side so there's just lots of different ways to enjoy this exterior but interior and exterior by taking some of those features outside you've got a wonderful kitchen here again storage is continuing in there you just got an absolute ton even uh, cabinets on angles which typically you don't see nowadays a massive sink here so you've got just a huge stainless steel sink nice high-rise faucet you've got the thermofoil countertops that can't absorb water you do have a stove here, which is great. So you've got the stove, uh, three burner stove, but you also have the oven. So should you want to throw in a pizza or lasagna once in a while that you've stowed away in your 12 or your propane fridge here, you can do that if you're coming in late one night. You've got a TV kind of in the natural direction you'd want it. So you can have a couple people sitting here at the dinette. And then you can also have others sitting on the couch, two to three people there, say watching a movie together. And then you've got monitor panel just below that, as well as your condition for your furnace. Uh, so you've got, again, easy access to all your switches. Um, into our kitchen again we've got our hood vent as well as a microwave furnace is nice and centrally located right in the middle so going to kind of be equal distance from the bunks as well as the front bed and then we've got our eight cubic foot propane and electric fridge that's going to be uh, eight feet eight cubic feet for the fridge itself and then plus the freezer we've got our converter box just below that we are lithium ready here so in the future should you wish to add some Higher recharge lithium batteries, you can't. You can see the blackout shades here on the windows are really blocking out all the light, which for young ones is always appreciated as I know that uh, mine with any light are up way too early. So certainly if you've got young children, you appreciate that. I love the fact that these bunks are bunks that your kids aren't gonna outgrow. So they can literally um, use these till they're into their teen years. When they hit the growth spurts, you're not gonna outsize them. You've got USB as well as 120 volt here, close in the back, so easy to use. And some additional storage below as well. So we've put the TV box here, but it could be anything. Easy access on the road to that bathroom, which is great, especially if you have young kids, because you don't have to open any slides. There's not going to be any obstructions. And it's a full three-piece bath with great storage in the vanity. And then you do have a medicine cabinet to keep the first aid kit. And you've got a nice high ceiling height here to work with, but you've also got that skylight. So even though you've got a little bump up off the floor with the uh, shower pan, uh, not going to be a case where you're bumping your head on the ceiling. And then you do have a vent there with a fan to be able to get rid of that humidity. And uh, again, toilet all set up inside. So again, very easy to use. 
and something that packs a lot, especially storage, into a small package, but still keeps that ceiling height. So if you're someone that's on that six or has family members that are in that you know, six foot height or beyond, especially in my case, I've got kids that are blown by six feet, this is something where nobody's gonna be hitting their head on it. You're gonna appreciate the headroom. You're gonna appreciate the fact that you've got all these windows on both sides, because it's gonna feel bigger than it is. We'd invite you down to Primo RV Center to come have a much closer look at this family-friendly, wonderful little towing ultralight, the 22SE in Coachman's Freedom Select Series.